a good morning this is Mayor Valensky with the driving markets I hope you're well okay the usual caveat anything said in this piece is an opinion only it is not at financial advice I'm not an investment advisor any gains any profits you make any losses unfortunately would be yours as well and that's simply it it's only for media productions so let's kick off right the big news yesterday was oil now we've been saying along all along on this channel that oil is going to go up no one likes to hear that because also myself because it just simply causes the pain and the price at the pumps will start to rise and it's really unfortunate but we've just got to state some hard facts yesterday oil closed above 102 dollars a barrel and i've been calling oil it ran about 110 120 dollars a barrel and don't be fooled by the recent sell-off because it is a bull market as far as oil is concerned and oil is only going to go up and um, you're obviously going to have those whippy days or whippy weeks where the oil does float down but the overall trend is up and um, especially with OPEC now threatening to cut production then that is not only maintaining a high oil price but that's going to push it up even further so you've got to keep a, an eye on it. I think right, right by September, you're looking at around about $110 a barrel. Now that obviously will have a big impact on inflation because oil is a big percentage of the overall inflation calculation. And as it rises, then obviously it's going to push inflation even higher. And that's going to make the central banks, whether it's the Fed, the ECB, or the MPC in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, start to look at raising interest rates even further. And um, so keep an eye on oil. It is going to go up. If you're an oil trader, then look to go long at any opportunity, especially if there's a sell-off. Just look to grab some um, options there or grab some futures and stay long of oil, especially in the near term. Um, looking at gold, interestingly enough, gold has come off from the 1752 level recently down to 1726 around about the 1700 level to 1720 is a good area for buying it does have a uptrend and therefore gold is likely to go up but only from the 1700 1720 level at this level maybe wait a little while and see where it goes before you start jumping in there but long of gold is a definitely a good investment good asset and that will also pull up the silvers the palladiums and the nickels they're also going up um, interestingly enough, um, EV, electric, electric vehicle batteries, are getting a lot more expensive to produce, just talking about um, nickel, um, and that's going to impact on the cost of electric cars. Um, there's a, at the moment, there is a joint venture going on between uh, Honda and LG to try and produce a massive mega, mega factory for um, car batteries, lithium, ba lithium batteries but that's just going to cost a lot more money to produce the batteries that's going to be fed into the cost of cars take that into account that is a side point um, looking overall at markets markets sold off yesterday again continuing from the Jackson Hole Symposium in Wyoming where the Fed came out with extremely hawkish statements that they want to get inflation under control down to the 2% level I don't think they're going to do it maybe by 2024 they'll start to do it but inflation for the next two years is only going to be high or higher in fact I'm calling inflation by July next year around about the 18% level and interest rates at least at seven eight percent that's my call to that by july next year that's where i expect to see inflation and interest rates looking at cryptos uh, bitcoin had an interesting day yesterday it dropped off and fell below the twenty thousand level and then clawed its way back above twenty thousand also ethereum also close above fifteen hundred and um, significant because it looks like it's got significant support at those particular levels and if it breaks down below the 20,000 then you can see it floating down to the 17,000 17 and a half thousand level even lower and um, so it's a good one to trade it's a bit volatile jumping around a lot and um, I think the overall trend I feel the overall trend is down on Bitcoin I can see it in the in the charts but it's very hard to follow it on charts because it's such a volatile asset um, but my overall view is Bitcoin needs to be sold off around to the, about the 15,000 level before it will start stabilizing and move up again. So that's the one on crypto. As far as foreign exchange are concerned, there's dollar strength out there. If you, re if you recall, I've been calling dollar yen a buy and it buy from around about the 131, 132 level and it's gone all the way up to 138.5, 138.80. 
and I've been calling it above 140. It is going to breach the 140 in my opinion, and from there go to 142, simply because of the divergence between the US interest rates and Japan. Japan's calling for more or less zero interest rate policy, where the US is calling for higher and higher interest rates. Talks about interest rates, you're probably going to have a 75 basis point increase at the US Fed meeting in the FOMC in September. Calling that. Remember this week, you've got the non farm payrolls coming up. Keep an eye on those. They're expecting uh, 293,000 new jobs created. Um, anything above that, it will probably set the markets down because it'll be an inflationary factor and it'll cause more concern to investors and central bankers. So keep an eye on that. Um, also, Elon Musk yesterday came out with an interesting one. He says we cannot get rid of the gas and oil industry because that will effectively send the whole of civilization backwards hundreds of years. It's an int integral part of our everyday living, so don't be misled that we've got everyone's got to have an electric car vehicle because um, it's just we haven't got the resources, we haven't got the power points to power up all these EVs, and we do need um, gas and oil and coal over the next 20 years. The question is, how do we use it in order to reduce our carbon footprint? Um, that's more or less it. Um, Mayor Valensky, driving markets. Stay safe. Have a good day.